Hi, today we are going to turn an Excel dashboard into an app and embed it into Microsoft Teams so that we can make this dashboard accessible to anyone from our team without having to send the Excel files. Um, we're going to start off with the app creation process itself um, to get a deep dive into it, how to turn an Excel into an app. And then afterwards, we will have a look how you can embed this app into your Microsoft Teams. Okay, so let's start right away. This is the current state. So this is our Excel file. We are updating it every month and then sending it to all the recipients. You see the big table in here with all the KPIs. Below, you saw already the, the charts. And here on the left, we have implemented a drop-down field where you can just pick uh, the current month and it will look up the data from the table on the right. So that's the current state. Now let's turn this into an app. So let's go to openasapp.com, start the app creation process and pick the file we want to use as our data source. This can be a file of course which is stored in your SharePoint or in your Google Sheets, whatever. Um, for now, I will just upload the one I had on my desktop. So let's pick that one. And OpenSAP already recognizes a few elements, like, for example, the charts in here. And then you can add them one by one, depending on which ones you need. And this is how you basically add the elements into your app. Let's scroll to the top again. On the left side in the preview, you can already see all the items you have just added. What we also want to have is the drop-down field we had in the Excel file. So let's add that one as well. And as there has been no caption recognized, let's open the editor quickly and give this input element a name. Okay, now let's put it to the top. So users of the app can easily switch between the months. Let's have a quick look in the preview, how the app behaves. Okay, looks good so far. Maybe let's see what other options we have for the charts in here. So let's open the editor for it. And let's say we want to show data markers, which are basically the labels containing the value in here. We could of course get deeper into the details, play around with the heights, with the colors, etc. For now, this should actually work fine. Also, what we could do is instead of going directly to the next step, we could open the full design step where we could, for example, pick a different theme, which will then change the appearance of our app. We could also change the title image, which is kind of the icon of your app, and then move on to the next step with the full design uh, process where you can add additional elements like, for example, a header. Rearrange it a little bit, put it to the top and have kind of like a title header. So let's call it Contazo KPI 2020. Also here, you have different possibilities, how you want to style the elements, let's center this, and that's basically it. So let's move on to the next step, monthly report, okay, that's fine, and let's create the app. So now the app is ready, you can uh, share it with your colleagues, um, in, the, in the current state, the app is private and only accessible by the app creator. But of course, we want to make it accessible to the whole team. 
In that case, we even make it publicly available, which might not be the appropriate status for uh, your app. You can, of course, al always define specific person having access to, uh, to your solution, in that case to the monthly report, but to make it simpler, we will just uh, set the app to public for now. Let's save this. And then what we can do is we can start the app right away on our smartphone using uh, Open as app or immediately trying out the web version of the app. So this is how our dashboard now looks like. So instead of opening the Excel file, all the users and your recipients can use this dashboard as kind of yeah the front end for the Excel file. Now, how do you put it into Microsoft Teams? You just copy the URL of the browser-based version of OpenASAP, which is directly here in the app. You switch to Microsoft Teams, pick the uh, team you want to uh, make the app um, available. And then as with other apps or tools, you can just paste it as a website in here, for example, and then work with it. So let's add the plus in here. Website, that's the URL. Condoso KPI dashboard, or just KPI dashboard. Okay, I already have it, KPI. 2020 and then save it and that's how you make it accessible to everyone having access to the general team here and now they can always look up the numbers without having to look for the Excel file somewhere else and um, updating the data is also pretty simple. So you as the app creator, for example, could just make um, the changes in your Excel file, save it, for example, when you would add uh, the next month, save it, upload it here, it's safe, and then you would know, okay, everyone else using this as a front end will now see the newest uh, data. Of course, the upload step uh, can be um, skipped, so to say, is if you would, for example, pick a file which is already online, for example, in your SharePoint online, then you would just need to make the changes in your Excel file, in your SharePoint, and then you wouldn't have to upload the data source additionally. So that's actually it. That's uh, how you bring your Excel reporting uh, not only into an app, which is available on mobile devices, but also can be embedded within Microsoft Teams.